Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Well, in this tutorial, actually, I will show you how to make a reusable custom widget. Uh, let me walk you through the idea. Well, this is my design that I was following to make an app. So here, well, as you see, there are these few buttons. So I want to make reusable buttons, not just for this one, as well as this one. Okay. So we want to make button once and just reuse them again and again with a uh, little modify modification okay so that's what we'd be looking now the first thing you need to know that if you want to create a reusable button over here a few things well you see each of the buttons they have a different background color so we would need a background color and a different background color as as well as we'll have border color some of them have border some of them they don't have border that's one thing we need to keep in mind and as well as you see so over here this is an icon but this is more like a text one two three four so these are the few things we need to take care of. okay well being said that now we'll go ahead to our um, development tool over here well I'll go ahead and create a new file and uh, I'll call this file over here widgets okay and uh, over here I'll create a new file and I'll call it uh, app buttons okay dart all right now here I'll create a stateless widget so I'll do STS STLS stateless and I'll call it app buttons okay now over here uh, we need to import some default libraries so let's go ahead and do it okay so now a few things just now as I said again well first we need to take care of the color okay so we'll pass a different color as we try to reuse the button so you do final color color okay well now this color actually we can do like more like say text color okay so I'll name it as a text color or the icon color it doesn't matter and now over here i'll call create a variable another variable for background color okay so we'll pass background so we'll call it here background color and uh, we'll also have border color right so we we'll do color border color okay and what are the things we need over here definitely we need different text okay so here we would do final string text okay well we also need to use icon like this is an icon over here so I would do final icon data icon okay and what else we also need to pass the size of this um, buttons so there's you see they are more like square all of them pretty much so what you could do we can just declare one variable we'll call it double and uh, it'll name is size okay yeah well now so these are the variables now we'll pass them from another class and uh, initialize over here within the constructor so let's go ahead and click on this it will help you to uh, how to say auto implement all of them and at the same time you now one thing you could do we can remove this const because uh, some of them are not final and what oh, we also need to initialize the final over here and now over here we do say required this dot size for this one okay now error should be gone so these are the few things that we need to use in our app okay well okay being said that so now another thing we see carefully that so this has border so we must implement pretty much like box decoration and we know that box decoration sits inside container so that's one thing and we also need to first go ahead with this border and size right size which means width and height so that's what we will do so we do with size so whatever we pass 
so width and the height would have the same size because they're square right okay what else uh, we need to have uh, a child right okay well let's go ahead with child first and child what do we want we want the child to be centered right so inside of it in the middle so we do center now sender uh, we'll have another child for now first we'll pass text okay all right and we'll just put over here text like uh, this is the text that is being passed okay well what else okay and uh, we also want decoration because we have border so we do decoration box decoration and here we do border radius so border ra border radius dot circular we'll use say say 15 all right and we also need to have border okay now here we'll have border so we do border border dot all this one now it takes border color so we do color and we would use border color like this border color is being passed from here okay mm. now the border width so we we'll use 1.0 now this will also have background color so for box decoration because if you use box decoration that will give the color to your container so here we we'll do color and we we'll do border color uh, sorry background color okay all right well so so far we are good yeah so I think we are ready with this uh, so we have size we have text border color border background color we have implemented pretty much all of them and the last one is the text color okay yeah so over here I would do just do style simply I would do text style and now over here I'll call color text color okay well these are the parameters that we need to pass wherever we call it from okay all right so we want to call it from this page and uh, if you see currently my app is like this so we want to put them here right there okay so right below this widget so this is the text widget that I created reusable the idea is same uh, well first I will go ahead and copy this one because we want to cre create a bit of space now we'll call our app button okay app button mm, I think this one so over here so you see it's automatically put all of this properties for you all we need to do we need to change them one by one and we should be good to go all right now over here text color so let's see what is our design okay so text color is white right as you can see from here if we want to draw this one okay so what do we do so you do colors dot white now background color in our case background color is black so you do colors dot black now border color and background color are same in this case which would be different for this one we'll take care of this one very soon okay so now over here we do colors dot black okay now over here the text text is for now one okay now the size so the overall size pretty much this one so first we'll stick to say 40 all right yeah now here well for now we don't need icon but let's go ahead and pass it okay now or maybe we don't need to pass it what we could do we can come over here and make this icon optional okay yeah so it could be here it, it may not be here okay so with this question mark it becomes very much optional and uh, now I'll remove this one required from here okay because it's optional if you have this question mark it means optional and we are not using it here anyway so well it doesn't really matter so now we can remove this icon from here because it is optional we may pass it we may not pass it 
So now let's go ahead and run our application and see the status. Okay, so I'll run it. Okay, here we go. Well, now definitely we may need to work on this uh, uh, circular radius instead of 15, we could do 10. Okay, now we can take care, maybe we can even make it a bit bigger, say 50. All right, just like this. Okay, so now this button is completely reusable. Okay, and uh, well, now the same button actually, for example, we want to use it for here, this one, and how to do that. Now here's only difference is this icon, okay? So sometimes for this custom widget, we may pass the icon or we may not pass the icon. So we can set up another two parameters, okay? So first we'll set up over here a Boolean, okay? Bool for checking is icon, okay? If we are sending icon or not, now of course we need to initialize it over here. So we would do this dot is icon now default is false we'll have a default value okay and uh, the other one is icon we already have this one okay so now this uh, this is also optional okay these two are optional with question mark sorry okay well now let's go ahead and run it and we'll see nothing changes okay now what we could do over here now you see uh, this is our child right so over here we need to do this um, conditional check and how can you do that we can do using this one okay well as default value is false actually when it is false we can use the text otherwise we'll be using icon okay this icon over here so here what I will do I'll go ahead and cut it and now over here I'll do conditional check in ternary operator in flutter is icon well is icon equal false okay then use this one otherwise use icon okay this is the icon constructor so within it we'll pass this icon okay the icon we passing over here and a bit of styling with this so we could do color and text color so the text color is this one that would be used for our icon color as well so now, of course, we can go ahead and run it. We'll see nothing changes, same as before. But now, because we want to reuse it, over here, let's set, let's set over here, icon, is icon true, is icon true. Now we can also pass an icon. If we set icon true, then we need to pass an icon, otherwise we'll get an error. So here we do icons, say favorite okay this one all right now let's go ahead and run it okay so our icon is there right yeah so this button is completely reusable so what I will do I'll just go ahead and copy paste and remove this first okay now I'll create another instance of this button the right below it okay All right yeah so now over here of course uh, we want to set icon this time so you do icon icons favorite is icon true okay now let's go ahead and run it you see two buttons of course you can change the background color so well now for background color we could do white okay and border color or I have a custom color that I'd like to use app colors dot main color or white sorry okay for now we will we'll stick with this white color now for border color we'll use a custom color that I have already defined in our file so I would do say main color okay yeah and now text color um, we can also use app colors dot main colors now we'll see so as you see these two buttons 
are very different, but we are using this custom widget to implement them. So custom widget definitely helps you a lot and significantly reduce your development time. Thank you.